Launching for the end zone. Forget being patient. Oh, Dunze. And Washington takes the lead. We'll frame the Pac-12 stretch run. This could be the first of two collisions here between these two programs. And let's hear from Michael Penix. Now back to Holly. Oh, this from 42. Good snap. Good hold. Kick is on the way. Kick is up. End over end kick. Yeah. He's thrown good. Woo! He missed it. Yeah. He missed it wide right. He missed yeah. it wide right. I don't believe it, Cam. I don't believe it. It's pandemonium at Husky Stadium. You're not keeping him off the field here. Washington 36, Oregon 33 in a classic. All right, let's make this short and sweet. Everyone, bow down to Washington. The Huskies pulled it off in a game where I was nervous for sure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where do we even start? I didn't even think we were going to get the ball back on fourth down. We stopped the Ducks. And then, and then, I have to think about this for a second. Michael Penix Jr. went down the field quickly for the touchdown to Romo Zune. And honestly, honestly, guys, this will go down as one of the biggest drives in Washington Huskies football history. It was amazing. It was quick. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what other Husky fans are feeling right now, but I feel good. This is one of those games we're going to remember. We're going to tell our kids where they were, where we were. We're going to tell our grandkids where we were. And this is one of those moments. Like Oregon Ducks and Washington Huskies. I mean, we're both leaving the Pac-12. We're going to the Big Ten. But this rivalry will continue. And we're dominant. We have owned this rivalry. Yeah, there was a short stretch in the 2000s where the Oregon Ducks kind of felt good, kind of felt like they were a better team, and they were starting to like kind of take over the rivalry a little bit, but not anymore. The Huskies did it. We're undefeated, 6-0. Husky Stadium rocked that shit. I don't even have much to say here because this is one of those just like instant post-game pods where I, I, I still can't believe that we won this game. Oregon had the ball, fourth down. And after we stopped them on third down, all I said to myself is I hope... They do not go forward on fourth down. Sure, I was hopeful. Sure, I wanted the Huskies to get the stop, but I was nervous. And then all of a sudden, we got the stop. few plays later, like a flash before our eyes, we scored the game-winning touchdown. And then our defense did its job, kind of. We got them into field goal range, and they missed the freaking field goal. College kickers will always do that to you. But in general, guys, The Huskies, the Washington Huskies, are legitimate national title contenders. Say that out loud. The Washington freaking Huskies, bound down to Washington, are national title contenders. And honestly, you know what this means in the grand scheme of things? A lot. Kellen DeBoer has this program humming. But not just that. We're going to the Big Ten, guys. And this was a national TV game. And now the whole entire nation knows what like Washington Husky football is really like. I can't feel better than this. The Huskies, we took care of business. The Oregon Ducks, go cry. You guys had your opportunities. But the Washington Huskies and Michael Penix Jr. and Kalen DeBoer showed themselves as the legitimate national title contenders in the Pac-12. So I'm going to leave you with this, short and sweet as I told you, bow down to Washington.